In this video today, I will show you how you can do a batch conversion of images just using your iPad. You don't even need a third party plugin because it's now built in into the iPad and I will show you that right away. So in my case, for example, I have a website about DaVinci Resolve for the iPad and all the filmmaking stuff on the iPad and I create images here and it's more and more convenient to just use my iPad. So I use the screenshot function to make a screenshot about something and I can just make the size and do my markings and stuff, make arrows and everything and just hit safe. It's so much more convenient than using actually a desktop or a laptop. But the problem is that most of those images, when I look into my photo app, they're way too big. If you ask why, because of search engine optimization. So all of my images in my website, they should be optimized. So it's faster to load. But anyway, you have maybe different reasons why you want to make batch conversion. So I now show you how this actually works. I have created a couple of those images here in my photo app. And what I can do now is I can select all of them that I want. So let's say just for the test purpose, I make, make those five here and I say share because we have to bring them now into the files app. So save on files. And I already created a folder here, converted images. And now I can say here, save. Now we open the files app and in the files app in my folder, converted images, I can now, if you have a keyboard, just hit the command key and select everything or command A for selecting everything. And now longer press on one of those images. And now you get this menu here and you can come here to the quick actions and then say, here's a couple of ways. You can create PDFs, rotate, blah, 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 all the things. And you can also do convert to image. And now the cool thing is you can even say what kind of format you want, JPEG, PNG, or the Apple format here. But we now choose JPEG format. And then the cool thing is I can even say very small, medium, large, original. For my website, I figured out medium is now good enough. Small is a little bit too small, but sometimes it's the best if you want to have really nice size. But if you still want to read the stuff and make it a little bit bigger, then medium or large are the best ways. So I create medium and now it creates the same items just on medium. And if you look at now and compare the size, 249 kilobytes for that image and now it's only 37 kilobytes. So the quality, if we compare that one, that was before and that is after. You don't even see a difference. And that is after. So for my website, that's good enough. Now it depends on what you want to do. But in my website, if I just want to show you something here, that's fine. So like I said at the beginning, very cool. You don't even need a third party plugin. It works straight on your iPad. That is an amazing feature. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a bang bang gong. And we we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.